Hey guys, it's Jill. Hope you're all having an awesome day. So today, we are going to be testing out this little automatic curling iron. I've had my eye on this for a while and Ulta uh, had their 20% off, so I went ahead and I bit the bullet and got it. This retails for 149 I believe, and I got it for about $128 with taxes and all that stuff. Um, but basically, this is the Babyliss Pro. It's a nano titanium. You get three curl sizes, and it says it's multiple textures. You have an on-off switch button, an on-off button. You also have a curl direction button, which um, left, right, and then alternative, or alternate. And then you have three heat settings, so low, medium, high. The highest setting goes up to 450, and then you also have your three different curl settings. So um, super tight waves, natural curls, and then loose, relaxed waves. So as you guys can see, my hair looks a little crazy right now. Um, it got wet last night, and this is just what we're working with at the moment. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on. When you first turn it on, it automatically goes to the very first curl setting, which is right there. So I'm going to, because I have shorter hair, I'm going to go ahead and put it on the second setting. And then I'm also going to, because I'm gonna start with my left, the left side of my head, I always like for my curls to go away from my face. So I'm gonna do the left side, the left curl on the left side of my face. Yeah, and then the right right curl on the right side of my face. So whatever side you're working on, if you want them to go away from your face, then you go with that setting, with that curl setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this heat up a little bit. Um, I will say right off, the, right off the bat, this thing is a little heavy. So that is something that's a little, this is not a first impression by the way. I have used this and I have my opinion on what I think of this for sure. Um, and we'll get into that in a minute, but oh, y'all, when I first started with this curling iron, I was doing it the wrong way, and uh, I was like, my hair was getting stuck, not stuck, but it was stopping, yeah, it was getting stuck, and it kind of freaked me out. Um, at one point, there's this one curl that I literally thought that I was going to have to cut my hair off or it was going to break off. But it didn't do that, and that is the the worrisome thing about these is like it gets wound up around this little barrel, so I don't know. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with my bottom. Now, another thing I will say is that once you have, okay, it says right here, this side up towards the head. So you always want to make sure that that part is up against your head. Now what you wanna do is go ahead and start wherever you want the curl, that's where you're gonna place this. So if you want your curl to start down here, that's where you start. If you want it to start up here, then you start up there, and then you just clamp it and it's gonna suck your curl in, or it's gonna suck your hair in to curl it. And then it's gonna beep, and then once it's done beeping, then you know the um, curl is ready. So. There you go, and that's the little curl that you get. Now, that is a nice curl, especially if you're not, you know, really great when it comes to curling hair. But do you see this right here? I don't like that. I need for them to come up with a product that allows you to be able to put in the amount of hair that you want and to still be able to like leave some of the out, like the, the bottom out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and curl, finish curling this side of my hair. And I'll come back and show you this side. Okay, so that's what we're working with right there. I'm gonna go ahead and start on the right side of my face or head. So I'm gonna go ahead and just switch this down. 
to the right side and then this one okay so you want to do it like this because it's this side against your head you also don't want to put this barrel thing too close to your head or your face because if you do it does it, it is hot and I can feel the heat coming from it so you definitely want to be careful because you can burn yourself it's not. do you ever Okay, so this is what we are working with. And this is how it curled on the second setting. Okay, so how I curl my hair, I just need all of the curls to be out of my way. So I go ahead and I put what's already curled into a little hair tie. And then we're gonna take this down. And we're gonna start on the middle section and we're gonna do the same exact thing so i'm going to start on my left side so you want to change the curl back to the left and go ahead and start curling you know how much i hate sleeping alone i can never make it on my own So I've done the left side of my head and now we're going to change it. Crap, there's one little curl or one little straight piece. Let's go ahead and curl this one again. There we go. That's a bouncy curl, huh? All right, we're going to switch it over to the right and do the same thing. Oh, that one hurts. Oh, it's pulling it somewhere. Oh no, I'm burning my face. Okay, so here we go with the second. And I want to go ahead and show you because these are some pretty tight curls. So since these curls are on the second curl setting, I want to go ahead and switch it over to the first or the biggest curl setting, I guess the wave, and show you what it does on my short hair. So I'm going to go ahead and switch it. You can hear it moving. Switch it back to the left side. And uh, oh, <laughs> that was me. I put too much pressure on my head. Wait, is this all I have for? Oh no. So these actually aren't bad. I'm gonna do the top of my head with the biggest, I wish I would have done the whole head with the biggest to see how I liked it, but a little too late in the game at this point. Not yet. Do I ever forget? Your pretty face inside my head. Wishing you the best of a life instead. Well, not yet. Baby, no, I don't wanna go. You know how much I hate sleep. I can never make it on my own. Okay, so my timer right now on my um, screen, I've been recording for 17 minutes. So this probably took me about 12 minutes. That's not bad. Do you guys see what I'm working with here, though? Like, even on the biggest wave curl setting, that's still, 
here's the deal. This right here, this is curling like out. And if this was straight right here and that was my curl, see I can totally go in with my straightener and kind of correct this and make it better by just kind of going like this with all of my, with my hair. Let's go ahead and do that and let's see how long it takes. Maybe it won't be that bad of a thing to do, but it's just a little excessive to have to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my curling iron on and see what we can do with this because the way it looks right now, no. Like this is not a good look for me whatsoever. That's the back. So I'm just going to take about this much of the hair into my straightener and try to start straightening. And see if we can get a little bit of a better look. Yes, that's much better. So that gave me a much better look, but I'm still not sure what I think of this. I'm just spraying it with some hairspray. It's the Redken Quick Dry 18. First of all, if you're curl challenged like I am, you guys, I am awful when it comes to curling my hair. I just, I don't know what I'm doing, and then I really just don't like the wands because you gotta, and then you gotta hold them, and then, ugh. So I really do like this. Now it is a little bit heavy, but I didn't notice it like being excessively like too much or like too much to handle. As far as it being quicker, it's definitely not quicker by any means. But again, if you are curl challenged like I am, this is something that's going to be perfect. It does have a little bit of a learning curve, but like I said, watch tutorials, continue to watch this until you get it. This right here is where it states your head is supposed to be. This part right here is supposed to go towards your head. So you know every single time that you put your hair in this way and then clamp it and it's going to go. So as long as you're not trying to do it this way, because this way you're gonna have a mess because that's what I tried to do when I first started using this and it kept tangling and it was just a hot mess. So always have the curling iron up against your head like this. And then like I said, if you want your curls to be away from the face, when, on, when you're on the left side of your head, go to the left setting, which is the first one, or actually the last one, depending on which one, which way you're looking at it. And then if you want it to go away from your face on the right side, then you just switch it over to the right curl setting. So overall, like that's pretty cool about it. I think I went a little too straight with this side right here because I'm kind of liking this side way more than I like this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do like a little, why did this turn off? Oh, it, it automatically took, oh, because I unplugged it. It's 12.06 right now and I will come back at the end of the day and show you what the curls look like. But when I, whenever I use a regular curling iron, my curls do not last all day long. So I'll come back towards the end of the day and show you guys what it looks like. And fingers crossed, we still have curls and it'll look better. Did I show you the back by the way? That is what the back looks like. <clears throat> And I will be back around eight or nine. Lighting's gonna be a little crap, but we'll work with it. And I'll give you my final, final, final thoughts on, you know, how well the curl's holding. Okay, so it is now 5.53. It hasn't even been like six hours. And this is what my hair fell to. 
Not a fan at all, and I'll say it's really only because of the length. If my hair was longer, if it was down to here, I would totally be in love with this product and I would be all for it. But the fact that my hair is as short as it is, it's just, I don't think that this thing is meant really for short hair. Unless you have hair that holds curl really well and then you wanna go back behind it and do the straightening thing. If you're more for the straight look on the ends, I mean, unless you like your curls to be curled at the end, like this one's still kind of a little curled even though I straightened it. I don't know. Like I said, I feel like this thing is a really great product, especially for the curl challenge, but because of the fact that you do have to take that extra step um, in order to straighten the ends, and I just don't feel like it's a really good product for shorter hair, I'm gonna have to pass on this and take it back. But I would one, I will 100% when my hair grows to be about here, repurchase this product so that I have it to curl. Um, like I said, it does not make it any quicker to curl, but it does make it so much easier to curl. So it is something I definitely recommend if you have longer hair, unless you like this look, but it's just not my favorite. So it's gonna go back to the store. But So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it was informative and helpful and I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new here. Click the notification bell, like this video, share this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.